My next guest has been a radio presenter for more than two decades. She's now landed her very own TV show, which is very exciting, as well as writing her autobiography, Till the Cows Come Home, which I loved. I'll tell you for why, because it's really about your childhood, yeah, isn't it? It, it, it? it really is. It was so lovely to write, because yeah. I spoke to my mum and my dad and my big brother, Rob, um, yeah. A lot more than I have done for years. I mean, because I was ringing like literally every afternoon, going, sure. "Dad, what cattle sale did you go to in 1982?" <laughs> and you know, poor bloke was like, "Warm in heck." Um, and my brother, uh, loads of photos. He was quite keen to take. He got like a really lovely camera when he was like a teenager. Right. He took loads of pictures, oh, and he's got a great. good memory. So I was on to him. Um, and yeah, it was really, it was really lovely writing it actually, and it's really lovely to talk about. Yeah, it's just you know, it was a really sort of. I love the front picture time. of you sitting on a sitting on a bull. I think yeah. that is yeah. It was, <laughs> there was quite a lot of that. So my dad would show his cows or his bulls, and then they'd come like at the end of like the showing season, they'd have right. all these trophies and these cups and rosettes, and they'd put them all out at garden, and they'd stand the beast behind all these cups, <laughs> and then they'd, they'd take a few pictures, and they'd be like, right. Pop Sarah on for a quick one, so I'd be there with a toddler or whatever, just like, sat on the side of her, you know, on the oh, side. Oh, Because your mum and dad, they, they split up when you were a kid. You were about seven when like they... Six or seven, six or seven I seven was, yeah. So it was two kind of quite different lives then, wasn't it? Because you had yeah. your dad in the farm and then your mum lived above a pub. Yeah, she was... Uh, totally different lives. Yeah, re her and um, my stepdad came in the licensing trade for right, quite right, a few right. years. Yeah, they run uh, conservative clubs and then they got their own pub called The Pineapple. Um, which I, when I was doing the book, I thought, oh, maybe... Be like Bolton's a famous like pineapple importer. Why was it called the pineapple? <laughs> Did a bit of research. I don't think it is. Nothing to do with no, that. Nothing so. to do with that. Just like to name it. It kind of started off. I think it's, a, it's almost like a tribute to your dad, but it's become something to both of them. It's yeah, like both your parents. Yeah, I mean. I think you know. I think this will resonate with a lot of a lot of women. Really, is that they perhaps push back against the mums more because the mums, you know, on the whole, I think are there for like you know making you do your own work, eat your greens, get in on time, pick up after yourself. And it's only when you have your own kids that you kind of realise yeah. just how, how hard your mum works for you and how much she did for you. And so writing this, I already kind of knew that, but it really came clear mm. because I also realised I went off being a very unsuccessful model. Um, um, and uh, the world's most unsuccessful model. And it was always my mum who was always there. She was always the one ringing me. And of course, my dad was brilliant. I was a real daddy's girl and yeah. close to him. But, you know, there's a sort of twist in the tale a little bit where I'm like, oh gosh, mum was, was really amazing. It's She's interesting. My hero. Yeah, it's interesting that it takes you to be a mum yourself sometimes to appreciate that. I completely get that. Yeah. Do you feel that the right time to write it because of the age your children are as well? Because they can appreciate yeah. it a bit more as oh, well. I didn't feel like they appreciated it this morning. When I was leaving, I was going, it's book day for me. Happy book day to me there. They're all <laughs> All ignoring me. They're all dressed up for World Book Day of themselves. Course, so, yeah, of course, so we've of course. got a young James Bond at home. Yeah, it's I think that's a brilliant idea. Uh, but yeah, it, it was it was actually it, it was the truth was I thought I've always really wanted to write a book and um, I wanted to see if I could do it, to be sure. honest. And then every time I talked about my life, it had always come back to the farm. I just thought all the best stories were there, you know, five kids growing up on a farm. It's kinda of like a really dangerous playground. Oh, you'd never get away with it now, health and safety. No, I you'd mean... Never, when you think about it, all the places that you that you played in. You talk a bit about being bullied at school when yeah. you were 12. Yeah. And it was pretty bad, but people didn't believe you, which is even worse. Thank goodness things have changed. Yeah, I think things have really oh, changed, yeah. you're right. Sure. So schools really have to listen now. And, of course, now I think with social media, there's a whole new sort of, like, layer of bullying that can Indeed. happen. Um, but for me, I mean, you know, it was never like... The worst bit was they held my hands behind my back and shoved an ice cream in my face in oh, the playground. Geez. How could Look you do that? that? Look at that Look little that face. Child. <laughs> no, it's horrible, isn't it? It's just really horrible. I mean, it, yeah, and it was, you know, we sort of spoke to the teachers. They didn't really believe me because I was mm. the new girl. They just thought I was struggling settling in. And then when Ice Cream Gate happened, that's when I think somebody, one of the teachers witnessed it and were like, Ooh. And saw that that was going but, on. But, you know, it was mm. that mild intimidation, that being a bit worried about walking along a corridor in case you get tripped up or elbowed. But or that's horrible. The whisper in class, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's, it is horrible. And it chips away at you, it chips away at your everything, you know, your, your confidence and everything. What I found extraordinary was years later, of course, there you are, a huge success, <laughs> which is the, the best thing to ever to counteract bullies. Yeah. But one of them actually wanted a shout out on your Radio 1 show. Yes, yeah, so it was Come quite... on, what I a know. cheek. So that says to me that she didn't really realise nope. the effect that nope. she was having, which I think is interesting in itself, that she clearly didn't realise she was I making know. my life hell by doing that. Um, and she did get a shout out on Radio 1 because I was a little bit... 
more looser of lip back then. Yours. And, uh, and I dedicated a whole link to saying what a misery she'd made my life. I wouldn't Jeez. do that now. And I don't know if it felt... It kind of felt good at the time. Probably at the time. It yeah. Was maybe it was absolutely the right it thing to do. It was perhaps a nice yeah, closure on it all. But now Radio 2, Drive Time Show. I mean, Are I you love... loving it? You must be. It's what just, a joy. I mean, it's the absolute dream. I feel like I've yeah. scrabbled to the top of this mountain. <laughs> 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 now I'm there, I'm like... <laughs> Brilliant, OK. Um, and I love it. Two hours Sweet. every day, lovely music. I mean, it was really the dream, dream job. Happened, and you don't have so. to get up early, because you know there was this thing about who's going to get the breakfast job, and yeah. obviously Zoe, Zoe yeah. has got that, of course. Um, it's a joy. You don't have to get up early, it's and you've beautiful. got two hours of radio too. How brilliant well, is that? Well, for the first time in quite a bit, I'm mm. just not shattered all the time, because, you know, you know, if you work either late or early, you become like a new mum where you're obsessed with counting how many hours sleep you've got Can or where you can have a nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I know exactly what you yeah, mean. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really nice not to be tired. For sure, you know, for sure. But um, Zoe's doing a great job. Obviously, I listen to Zoe, and I think... You know, the headline, two women each get an amazing job and are really happy, is a really boring headline. For so, sure. like, two pals, you know, because it's yeah. women as well, they always want to pitch women against each other. No. It's kind of annoying, but I've had loads of support from all my lovely friends, you know, colleagues and all that. They've both been amazing with both me and Zoe, so it's Sweet. turned out beautifully. I'm very happy. Now, look, talking about radio, mm. we're going to join I your know. pal, Greg <laughs> James, who's live on Radio 1 and is with Scott Mills and Chris Stark. They're in the middle of a 24-hour lolathon <laughs> for comic relief. Guys, hello. Good morning, Hi, oh, Sarah. Hi, Hello. Hello. Oh, those angels. How are you? I'm really good, really, really good. Um, so how's it going? <laughs> It's going really well. We were really enjoying the interview with Sarah Cox there. We, we finished our song on the radio ages ago, so we've just been filling for about three minutes. So it's really <laughs> nice to, to speak to you. They're doing amazing, these two. They've been on the radio since 1pm yesterday. Amazing. They're doing the Lolathon, which is a load of jokes, a load of special guests, a load of amazing things for Red Nose Day. And uh, they've raised a load of money so far. How are you faring, you two? Yeah, we're, we're all right, aren't we? Lorraine, have you got any jokes for us? Um, um, a joke. Uh, yeah, OK. Um, there's a whole bunch of cannibals and they've got a great big pot and they've got a clown in it and they all sort of start dipping in and then one says, does this taste funny to you? Oh, yes, Lorraine. <laughs> the cannibal jokes are the best, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Probably should have asked you to prepare one. Yeah. <laughs> Just talk um, about eating people on Lorraine, don't worry about it. <laughs> Lorraine, we, you've been on our show many, many times before because you, you enjoy um, doing announcements before people are yes. allowed to do announcements. Yes. So, Lorraine on your parade. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should we should do one now, really. We should we should sort out uh, something between you and Scott because uh, there's there's a new total, perhaps. All oh, mm. right. Are you going to give the total, Scott? See, just before you do that, can I give the total, Scott? The total is one hundred and five thousand five hundred and seventy-two pounds. Hurrah! Amazing! Oh, well, news. well, once again, uh, Lorraine spoils the announcement for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Lorraine. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Yeah, oh, that's, uh, I mean, that's just leapt up. That's unbelievable news. I can't quite take that in because you said it so fast. But Say it thanks, again, please, Lorraine. Lorraine. It's 105,572 of your British pounds. Oh, that is you're incredible. You're a legend. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you very you much for letting us be on your show again, Lorraine. We love you and we love Sarah Cox very much as well. Love you. And, love and you. Keep you. going. You Keep can, going, you can, guys. You, now you're... Sarah's finished, you can come and listen to the radio. I turn the telly off and <laughs> listen to the radio, so great. Do both at the same time. Multitask, <laughs> multitask. It's easy. Guys, thank you so much and good luck with all the work that you're doing for Comic Relief. It's fantastic. Thank Aren't you. They appreciate great? that. Thanks, love Lorraine. Love They're you. amazing. Bye. Bye guys. They're amazing. I and know also... Scott quite well. I can see he looks absolutely shattered by his life. The wee soul. I mean, what's it to you? Congratulations, new ITV show. I know, I can't. It's brilliant at the weekend. Right. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. So, yeah, we're going to have lovely guests come in. Uh, we're going to have some live music yeah it's, of course yeah it's brilliant i mean i'm getting all the jobs i feel really really lucky at the moment well there's luck and also there's talent oh, Miss thank Sarah you,